it's a small fruit, but it's good. They really hang on the tree too. When they're ripe, they don't just fall off. They stick on the tree for a bird to eat. But they're like little tiny cherries. They taste good. You can wait for them to get dark or you can eat them early when they're red. And I like them both ways. You just keep picking them off. Easy tree to grow, fun to nibble on, fruits in a pot for many years. It's just something fun to have, something red that looks poisonous that you can eat and enjoy. It's gonna take me a while to uh, get these fruit off the tree. We'll have a lot of seeds to plant, but I'm gonna get a really good picture of them all picked. Shit, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be, uh, you know, the video is not gonna be good if I just sit here and pick these for an hour. Damn. Let me get as many as I can and then we'll stop. But let's get some going. We'll get a good picture. Some nice ones here. It'd be cool to find a variety that, that made bigger fruit if there was such a variety. Hundreds of these things. You got to pick them two-handed, I bet. Like this. You put the phone down, and then you go to work with two hands. Take a shirt, like that, and then just start going like that. Because if you do it with one hand, it'll take you forever. It's nice nothing stealing them. No birds get in here. The birds would wreck, wreck these outside. And I guess the rats don't get them, which is a nice thing. Seeds are valuable. I don't know if I'm gonna sell the seeds. I'd like to just plant them and just sell the trees because it's a fun tree to grow and not a lot of people have them. They're easy to grow. And I just, I like the tree a lot. It's a good bonsai tree. Uh, it takes the cold down into the, the mid, the mid twenties at least. I don't think it goes much lower than that. Like if you got down into the low 20s, it may kill the tree. I hope everyone's doing good today. Protecting wildlife, squirrels in particular. Skirus. How do you say the genus for squirrel? What is it? Skirus. Skirus. I gotta look it up again. I heard someone say it. What's up? Hard for me to see the comments. I just wanted to talk about Eugenia ligastrina, privet stopper. It comes from the Caribbean, and I've seen other people say they have it, and it doesn't look like this. So there's either two species or several varieties. Uh, this one's supposedly supposed to be a good tasting one, but there's others that make a, a larger fruit. Um, but I don't know if they taste as good probably need to have like a sheet underneath the tree and just this it and then you just take the branches over the bucket wait here and I'm just taking off what I can with this get these off these little fuck of the hell you could do that just a very tedious fruit to harvest commercially. You'd have to shake the bushes and then press the juice out. Definitely a dooryard crop in my opinion. Never gonna get any kind of commercial status. But who knows what kind of benefits it has to eat these little fucking things. They're red, you know, red's good. I haven't even made a dent in, in the fruit on this tree right now. Absolutely not made a dent. I'm gonna need uh, to shake them on a sheet. Let me just, you chose to drop in and check. When we grow rare fruit over here, guys, we're not growing the grocery store, bananas, peaches, pears, plums, nectarines that you get. I don't know. I grow a lot of different shit. Some stuff I don't like. It's a fun fruit. 
It's what I call a fun fruit. But it ain't going to, like, pay the grocery bill. You know what I mean? You're not going to, like, uh, I don't think you're going to get, like, I think I'm going to miss candies or little nature's little pills is if they quit or like, all right, I've got an addiction to eating small little things that are shaped circular. I'm like, well, try these pills out. They're good. Oh, anyhow, very bad boy. You've been a very bad boy. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Hot as shit up. Good boy. Get it. I've been a very bad boy, very bad, bad connection, L losing viewers, he hemorrhaging viewers. YouTube, YouTube's connection's poor. Counting fruits. This is what I was able to get. But now we're gonna make our way back over to the homestead where we have a better connection. I can't leave that there, what up, Abel? Chickens will eat it. I saw that question, Abel. It takes about, uh, about three or four years. Hope everyone's doing really well. Let's go check at the Plinia Rivalaris and see if it's got that fruit turning into colors. Thanks for bearing, bearing with me through the poor stream quality. You guys have been great about that. Let's go ahead and turn this water on. It's extra dry. And then we'll talk about rare fruit. Let's go ahead and crank this monkey up. See if I get shocked. Fuck that. I'm not going to see if I get shocked. I'm going to wear protection. All right. Hose is on. Hot water's running out. Just like my viewers. Here we go. Quality is decent. Yeah, thank you. It was because I was in that greenhouse. This water's coming out boiling hot. I mean, steaming, boiling, horrible hot. Now it's cooled down finally. Gonna make our way down the path. Pick this tree up, water it, and keep going. If I can, get a little more length here. Come on, extend, motherfucker. All right. Fuck me, hey, man. What the fuck am I caught on? Let's give it a whip. Come on, let's go. If I would have just pulled harder, would it have made it through? Or would I break something? Let's see, what am I caught on? Piece of shit. Yeah, it's just caught on the edge of that rock down there. If I can whip it, got it. I know, dude. Can't keep these hoes in line. not going it's not going i gotta pull the kink out pull the kink out dang this thing's got length there we go let's give this tree some water patanga tuba in the ground they need water it's been so dry we are in a drought these are drought like drought conditions we are having here so wet that down wet this down clark's been watering out here it helps but it's like never enough that little tree should have died a long time ago, but it didn't. Nice patanga tube over here. These could take more water than I'm giving them. I'm just cooling them down, just giving them just enough. Ah. 
I should have my big hat on right now. I got a big hat that I wear for times like this. And I'd love to have it now. But I wasn't thinking when I came out here. Just came out willy-nilly without a hat. Okay. These trees look pretty good considering what they've been through. And they're definitely liking the new dry elements. It was way too wet before. They just need, yeah, sombrero. I was looking for a really good sombrero and I, I could not find one. Like, dude, if you can find a high quality, big ass sombrero, let me know where you're finding them. The ones that aren't like shitty. You can go find a shitty one that's like a gimmick, but I mean a nice sombrero. Handmade palm or whatever, dude. Good luck. They're expensive. They're like 100 bucks. At least. Unless you got a line of, of a, a connect in Mexico direct. Or El Salvador or some shit. But it's like... I was hunting for some because I was like, all I need is a big ass sombrero. I couldn't find it. Or I could find it from a company called Sunbody. But they were expensive. Like shipping was really a killer. I had to haggle with the people because it was like, it was like sixty dollars shipping for an eighty dollars hat, and I got them to give me the shipping for twenty bucks. I was like, they didn't want to roll it up. I was like, I was like, just roll that motherfucker up. They're out of Houston, but the hats are made in El Salvador, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Because mine's got like a signature from the guy who made it. It's like blah, blah, blah. Whoever made it, his name is on it. Yeah, dog. Those are the best. Sunbody. You can get them on eBay. I got mine on eBay and I got a better deal than from the website, I think. And the one I have is called El Humango. El Humango. So when you water in this tree, one of these that really needs a lot of water, like this trunk of flora seedling, this is what you do. Wet the leaves down. I'm a big proponent of wetting the leaves down. Maybe good, maybe bad, but I'm trying to cool the tree down. It's burning hot. It's gonna absorb water through the tissues. So you cool it down. Let's get that leaf temperature down. Wet the whole thing up. Anoint it with these healing waters. Cool it down. Get it on that bark underneath every floor, every floor and then set it on down at the bottom. Oh, look here, something did something to my tree. Look, it's like, uh, it looks like something just chewed it. Or maybe not, it's just peeling. It's just peeling, Never mind. nothing chewed it. It's shedding that old, the old bark, I think. Unless that's totally dead. Way to tell us to scratch it. But that's, I think that's alive underneath it is. Yeah, that's good wood underneath. Don't scratch it with your fingernails, but take off some of these chunks and get a look underneath man this has been locked in with these these lichens on it for years the lichens are bad they encapsulate the tree slow it down and now we just got the water running at the base we're gonna let it run oh, got water on the phone and this guy to have done that so I do have that uh, able plenty of, thanks for hanging on through all this horrible stream quality I do have plenty of Klausa grafted on to edgeless and it's doing well growing very slow there's like a scale insect that likes to attack it and it just covers the whole thing and makes it look like shit it's got that on it I keep forgetting to put poison on it I got assist. I need to go just do that right now. Let's put poison on that fucking thing and help kill the um, ants on it and the scale. But it's it's been dealing with that, the Plinia Clausa, and it's really helped, slowed it down, held it back. Okay? Any other questions while we're out here, okay? You know what? I told a whole story about these people writing down my credit card information and using it the other day at, at this place that sells rocks. 
and I thought that they stole my credit card information. But then I reached back in my mind and I thought for a second. I was like, wait a second. You went to an iPhone repair store and you bought a telephone cable. I had to replace my charger cord. I lost it. Well, when I went in, I handed the guy my card and he didn't run it. He was like waiting to get to the register. It was kind of crowded. And he took my card and he held it for maybe 30 seconds. And I ended up being like, this motherfucker's taking too long with my card. It's busy. I've got cash. I'll just pay for it cash. Well, I took my card back and got it back and paid cash. And I just had a weird feeling about how creepy this motherfucking guy was that was taking my card. And that's the guy I think that did some shit to me where he got my number somehow. He must have gotten a picture of it or he must have been able to have a, some device in his pocket because he worked at a store that sells technology. I think that's the guy that did it for real. I, I know the motherfucker that did it in my heart. It was either him or the other people, but I think it was him. Yeah, this motherfucker took my card and he was dicking around, like not doing shit with it, standing there looking silly. And then he just was acting funny. That's who I think did that shit. And he had some kind of device in his pocket or some shit, or he took a picture. He somehow got a picture of it. And, and he didn't get me for much, but it pissed me off I have to change all my information. I literally want to like have public executions for people that do that. I know that like the cops are like, listen, we can't do anything. It's just a dollar. They're like, all right, we've got someone. We know they're committing credit card fraud. If we can just find them, we're going to have to have a public execution. And then that way, people, you know, will be a little afraid to do it. But we need about a thousand public executions for people that do that. Then the message will get out. But that's where I'm at right now. With we'll fucking tribunal. You get caught doing that shit, it's over. A dollar. A penny. It doesn't matter the amount. It just matters that you stole someone's credit card information and you're trying to use it. It's game over. You've got to go before the military tribunal. That's it. You lost your right to live because you're doing dumb shit. Okay? How's that sound? Good thing I'm not in charge. It's just not a good look. I mean, at least cut some hands off or something. Maybe Saudi Arabia got it right. Some parts. It just would suck if someone was falsely accused and then got their hand cut off or just killed, you know? They're like, they really didn't do it. And somehow, the, the whoever was in charge was like, yep, this motherfucker's been stealing credit cards. We gotta kill him. And then from there, everyone would become a credit card thief that you didn't like. We got another credit card thief. Yeah, steal their trigger finger so they can't shoot no more. At least a beating. They should let you go into a room with like a, like a, a bat that wouldn't kill nobody, but like, all right, we caught the guy who did it. And you go into a room and you get like a bat. And if you're not strong enough to do it, you can outsource. And there's like a public ass whooper. And he like does it for old ladies. They're like, he stole my credit card and I'm not strong enough to whip on him. Go ahead and get the public whooper. And there'll be a guy who's like, yes, ma'am, I'm going to whoop his fucking ass for you. And then they have like a fucking nerf bat that's like just hard enough to where it hurts like a bitch, but you can't kill someone. And then they just whip the shit out of whoever did it for like a good 30 minutes, man, 15 minutes, whatever it is. You know, we don't want to push it too far, but it would be like publicly televised and we'd get, we'd get revenue. We'd get revenue from this, like the, the event. They're like, oh, they got another one. Granny's going to do the ass whooping herself. She's not going to hire the public ass whooper. You know what I mean? Could you imagine that? Public whooper. That would be like that one show. What was it? The one with uh, Running Man. Running my fucking credit card information, man. 
I'll fucking hire the public whooper on you and get fucking dynamo or buzz cut with a fucking flamethrower to whoop your ass all across the padded room on TV, dog. Have you crying, dog, when they send you down that fucking tunnel, dog. Fuck, there's that one tree that I need to water that I keep forgetting and my hose won't reach. Let's see if I can get it. The long distance save. Come on, bitch. There it is, I can hit it. The wind's in my favor. Yeah, I got that motherfucker. That's a long distance right there. And the wind has got my back. It's like going right there. It's good ASMR right now. It's like I'm smooth sailing. It's the opposite of when you're trying to blow, or I mean trying to blow, trying to water something and the wind's blowing the wrong way. I'm out here trying to blow and the water's going the wrong way. Now the wind's blowing. That stridge piece is looking real good. Thanks, Austin. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I'm just now getting in my stride. Where you gotta figure out how to make the streams more entertaining. You can't just sit there, you gotta fucking run your yapper. And then, you gotta talk about something interesting. Like credit card theft, public executions, things like that. Yep. Oh shit, I got a bunch of dragon fruit from my brother's house. He's on here watching right now. I got a bunch of dragon fruit cuttings from my brother's house last night. Maybe we'll go take a look at those. I'm gonna let this flood under here. Oh fuck, I was supposed to water the, supposed to be watering the driveway and I haven't even touched the driveway. This, this watering shit when it's dry will keep you busy. Kambuka, right here, really needs it. Gonna hit that on my first break of the day. Yeah, I woke up late, this is my first my first start. This is a grafted white Jabuticaba. It does really well. When I first got these years ago, I was like real worried because it was rare. It's got big leaves. And I was thinking, shit, it's rare. It's got big leaves. The thing's going to be hard to keep happy, especially if it gets cold. I, I kind of used to think the bigger the leaf, the more cold sensitive it would be. But that's not the truth, really. It, these are just as much cold hardy as pretty much any other tree that I have. You know, they take down to the the mid-20s without much damage. At least in Florida, I know that in California the conditions are different. You get the drier and the longer cold. You'd probably fuck a tree up in California if you got down into the mid-20s. But uh, here, shit, it, 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 it takes the heat very well. It takes the um, cold very well. And the only thing it, would, it ever needs really is water and some fertilizer. But I've got it grafted on the Sabra rootstock and I think that helps a great deal is to have it grafted on that Sabra rootstock. Although the ones on their own roots do pretty well too. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not just going to sit here and lie to you on live stream. Okay, it's already here. Sorry about that. Wet those leaves down. This thing is hot, hot, hot. Just cooling it down. 100 degrees it feels like out here. It's probably only 95. Oh. The frost is fine. No problem. The leaves will turn colors and fall off, but that's just, they're semi-deciduous, deciduous. No problem at all, buddy. They can take a frost all day long. Got some Kambukas over here we're watering. These ones are in part shade and they do really well. Looks like we might get some rain somewhere in Florida. It's rain o'clock somewhere. It's rain o'clock somewhere. Cause I see it raining, but not here. I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you. It's real important to soak the roots and to keep putting the water down and until you see water piling, puddling up. Like, if you put the water down, it just disappears. You haven't watered enough. You need to water, water, water. Wet the drip. You see that water piling up and, and uh, giving some uh, resistance or whatever the fuck. 
can't just run right through. And if the, if the tree's on a slant, water the highest part because that's where, you know, if you have a root ball and there's a high side, water the high side. If you just water the low side and you're not wetting the whole thing, water travels down. So it'll all work out. These are all some grafted trees over here, just wetting the root systems up. You can tell how dry a tree is by how long it takes for the water to pile up underneath in a puddle at the base. It's a nice Patanga tuba seedling growing over here. I got these really big uh, bromeliads all over the property that I got to figure out how to get rid of some because I know they're worth money. I just need to find a grower that wants to buy them and then get a fair price. You know, whatever wholesale is, a little less than that. You know, I want, I want to give someone a deal, but I'm not trying to destroy myself financially as far as my bromeliad wealth goes. I think I'm going to plant out more of these uh, Eugenia sulcatas. They're doing really well in the ground, not so well in the pot. So I'm getting more confidence after planting this one out to plant out more. Eugenia sulcata. It's a really good fruit I've heard, but, but it's kind of been harder to grow than I would have liked. You know, I thought it would just be easy like a grumachama, but it's a little more sensitive, a little more fickle than your grumachama, cherry of the Rio Grande. It, it was kind of hard for me to keep them happy. Eugenia sulcata. It kind of looks like a mix between a Suriname cherry and a Grumachama. I heard they're really good, but I've never tasted one. And my trees are close to fruiting size, but they haven't fruited. I put that rat poison down, it's been awful quiet. Now I'm just waiting for it to start stinking. Because if you, if you get a direct hit, if you sink their fucking rat battleship, you start to smell them. And I want to smell it. I want to smell them motherfuckers coming up through the, the air vents. That's the smell of success. It's the smell of victory. Just about out of these cherries. It's like the birds that got most of them. We got a, a whole bunch of seeds. I need to either sell the seeds or plant them and I haven't made up my mind yet as to what to do. These trees do pretty well in part shade over here, it looks like. I think it's because the other trees around them just making it more hospitable, not as hot. But yeah, the ones in part shade do really well. Trees are variable. Some taste good, some don't taste so good. The, the nasty ones have like a green bean kind of flavor going on. This is one of the ones with the green bean flavor right here. It's actually a grafted tree. At one point I grafted it because I thought it was really good. But then I found out it's grafted on cherry, the, the Rio Grande rootstock. So I got to get back in here. Ah, fuck. The armadillos have been going nuts, knocking shit over a lot here. The drier it gets, the more action I get with the armadillos in the pots. They really start digging, especially wherever it's moist. Uh, they're, they're out here digging, doing their thing. They make holes in the ground and uh, it can really fuck up a horse. Someone was telling me that people that raise horses don't like armadillos on their property because it'll make that hole and then break a horse's leg or whatever. And then, all oh, cause you got a armadillo making his hole. This is a nice grafted ESALQ, plenty of Fetranta ESALQ. This thing should be ready to fruit by now. It's damn near 15 feet tall. It's got in a lot of shade though. Um, I've got another one that's flowering in a pot and another one that's flowering in the ground. But it's such a pretty tree. I love the big leaves on it. Fuck, I left the front door open. But who knows what's happening in there. Oh, that fruit's turning red. You gotta get it now, it's gonna be gone. Let's throw this down, let's pick this fruit. If you don't pick them like this, it's over. Oh, I'm tripping. Well, I could put a bag over it, but I'm not even going to mess with it, yo. I'm just going to pick it like that. That's a nice big one. Uh, Mircea glomerata. Let's taste it early. 
So the skin is like, the flesh is not quite ready yet. The seed is still got a, it should be dark, but let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. It's bland, but it's good. It got three seeds. I'm gonna let those dry out before I plant them. Put those in my pocket and don't lose them. I won't let them dry out too much, but they do need to, to dry out a little bit. Yeah, if I didn't pick it then, it'd be gone. I hope Rex didn't chew himself to bits. You gonna go on some... thinking about planting this other Myrceria glomerata out. Thinking about it. Just don't know where exactly. Maybe right where it stands. Pretty good crop on the Miracle Fruit tree. Gonna have to start picking them. Could be hundreds of them. Everyone doing pretty good out in, in the plant world? Oh, there's that cutting I never grafted of the variegated Grumachama. I threw that in a bucket the other day and I was supposed to graft it, but I never did. Tell you what, Trunk of Flora seems to have a high water requirement out of all the um, Jabuticabas I have a very high water requirement. If you skimp on the watering, it'll wilt. It probably just doesn't like the heat and it needs even watering for sure. You're not gonna get fruit if you don't water them, really. The auctions are ending tonight on eBay, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do another round that will list tonight. It's not gonna be as uh, as many plants though. Like we got a nice lineup tonight, and I gotta I'm gonna kind of wind it down for the month here. Maybe I'm wrong, guys, but I think we're due for a nice little stock market decline this week. That's the way I've got my money positioned anyway. I'm not like a financial advisor or nothing. But I did short some of these tech stocks on the NASDAQ. I did some options trading. Well, I haven't traded any yet, but I'm looking to. And I think this week ought to be real nice for me, but bad for people who have their money invested in the, the whole crypto thing. It'll come back around, I'm sure, but I think we're, we're set for a bad couple of weeks here at the end of May. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, could be the bottom. Like I said, I'm usually wrong. What's up, Symboline Todd? Hey, thanks for dropping in and chatting with us. Thank you much. Tyler, which, which Tyler shit? I know a couple of them. Help me out, Tyler. Tyler. All oh, right, Tiny Jungle, send me a message. I need to learn more. I literally just started. Oh, cousin, cousin Kyler, nice to meet you again. Hey. Yeah, man, that's cool, uh, Tiny Jungle. 
I want to do it too. There's been many times where I know I could have made money. I just didn't know, understand. I just wasn't interested in options trading. I didn't understand that. I thought you had to have more money to do it. And I just, I made a couple small bets with um, 250 bucks or whatever. You know, I'm not doing anything crazy. I have a little money on the stupid ass Robin Hood shit. I think Twitter's a good short. Just at the right time, like, Twitter's going to have a little bit of tumult. It's going to be highly volatile. But people are going to lose faith in that motherfucker again. When Elon can't do and Elon said and Elon, well, fuck you, Elon. Because he knows what the fuck he's going to say. And he knows where to put his fucking money before you do. They're all playing games to milk these fucking stocks. That's my opinion on the matter. But I, my history as a stock trader has been very poor. Haven't done too well. Well, I haven't done too long. Still learning, guy. Give me a chance here, okay? Disney and JP Morgan, they were doing well, yeah. Disney, I'm short in Disney, man. I don't like no Disney's. My dad was always big on buying their stock. <laughs> oh really? Hell no! I'm trying to. I'm trying to do. I can't do that short of a trade. I need to, for my shit to play out and for me to get it right. I need about ten days, fourteen days. Those contracts where it's like 14 to 20 days out is where I feel real good. Yeah. Squirrel Protector Dave is going to come back, man. We haven't. He's gone for a moment, but he's going to come back strong. We're going to have a whole feed on him. Right now, he's in a retirement mode here, just kind of taking it easy. Yeah, you got me fired up about them squirrels yesterday. This mustache taking over my soul. Versace, 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 Versace. Real dry, Bubba. Especially these ones on this, uh, I got a mat back here where it keeps the water and it is dry on that mat. Sometimes I just let the hose run on the mat for 30 minutes to fill it with flooded out. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to keep watering and take a look at some of these plants. See who's dry and who's not. Bet you there's some that are in the ground that are nice and dry. All right, fucking A, I went around there. Separate nation status. Yeah, that'd be cool for their stock. Wow. This tree put off a nice little crop, this Grimmel. It's always been so hot. It had some years where it looked like shit for so long. And it finally broke out of it. So sometimes you'll have that where you have a tree. It just, you planted it in a spot that's either too hot, too dry. And for the first couple years, it just looks like garbage. And then it, and then it just, I, it, somehow they turn around. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. Seen it happen to a sick squirrel. Shut your damn mouth. Papaya tree here. This is a good one too. I'm surprised it lived. I like this a really good papaya here. 
where it didn't have that vomit taste, you know? You know the t taste I'm talking about. What else, guys? Is that all she wrote? This is the uh, Sabra hybrid. Yeah, I gotta learn. I really don't know much about it except I just learned how to do it. And if I, hey, listen, if I come up, I'm either gonna lose or I'm gonna come up. And we're gonna find out tomorrow or by the end, my options expire on, um, I bought, I shorted AVAV, Aerovironment, which is like a unmanned aircraft, wartime fucking tech stock. Aerovironment, AVAV, I short sell that one. And then also AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. I short sell that motherfucker too. But that contract expires on the 27th of May. And if, if things take a turn, like I think they will, then I'll have made a come up. And if I do that, then I'm going to roll over again. We're going to have a little squirrel protection facility, get new tree houses, new bottle feeders, and uh, really rescue some squirrels, guys. Because this is just the beginning. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Yeah, I'm not trying to hold it to the expiration, but some of these might get close, a little closer to the expiration than I would have liked, okay? I could have already sold them out a couple times and doubled my money. I could have close to doubled my money on the AMD contract, but I just held it because I, I feel like this week in particular... See, when what, what I'm... I base... Yeah, that happens. Whoever said that, Cameron or Charlie Snyder, that, that happens. Just give it some time. The conditions have to be right. It takes a couple goes at it, but it, it takes a little time sometimes. It's just it's kind of frustrating. Well, I've got a little theory I'm working on, okay? Let me go ahead and expound. Uh, 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 the stocks and the stock market, especially the NASDAQ, uh, is um, correlated to your cryptocurrency. So if the cryptocurrencies are struggling, then your stock market is going to struggle, okay? Your NASDAQ in particular, especially your tech stocks, Tesla, that kind of shit. So right now, I think we haven't seen the bottom of these crypto, these cryptos, okay? They, oh, tell me what you want about them, buy them or not, but you ain't seen the bottom of this one yet, Bubba. You can bet your, my squirrel protecting butt. I got squirrel fur in my brains and I'm bud and I know that, uh, okay, what these trades are going to do. Anyway. Yeah, that's a fig tree. Well, that, this and that one. The other one, too, is a fig tree. This one's doing pretty well. It was planted in a stump. An old palm stump. It's holding up. It's gonna be interesting. I think the stump's gonna rot away and then it'll have like roots that are exposed that turn into wood. We'll see. I've never done it before. But in theory, that, that, that trunk should rot away and expose the roots and then the roots will turn into branches. Jabbity Kaba coin. We basically did the Jabbity Kaba coin already, and it was like a success, but it's just not something I wanted to keep up with. People didn't really understand how to <coughs> hold on to them and trade them. They would just cash them out, but it was like a whole tally stick system we had going for trading scions of rare varieties. We were selling some of the sticks, went for like 300, 400 bucks maybe. For like, if I had a variety that was unreleased, we, we'd make a, a contract called a tally stick system thing where kind of confusing but people caught on you, you buy the stick and uh, you can trade the stick in at any time or sell it to someone else but it's worth scions shipped rare scions at any time that was the value of it is it could be redeemed for rare scions but people could have held on to that and waited for like a really valuable time to sell them or trade them but they didn't they would just cash them in and get their cuttings but some people could have resold them or traded them or something but they they didn't do that
Yeah, I'm not into the, all that NFT shit, none of that. We're gonna stay away. Ah. <sighs> This tree needs a new pot. See, it's wilting. It really needs a new pot. We gotta pull that one aside and do that soon. I'm about to take this inside, guys. This this outdoor part of the stream is over. We'll see if there's anything interesting inside the house. I'm about to turn this water off. We, we made a dent. Oh, I gotta go turn off the water in the greenhouses too, I bet. So I gotta go do that. We'll keep going. You know, I suck at stocks. Don't. The worst thing you can do probably is listen to me about any kind of stock market advice because I've been nothing. I, I, I think I, I may already know. I probably have been... I'll look at what you're talking about, but I think I may be doing what you're talking about already without having looked it up. My dad was talking about all the different things. I don't know. I like to just be an idiot and then just fail. And so I might take that route. But I want to just have no... Oh, fuck, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just want to go in blind and don't let people poison your perspective or give you ideas. And that's where I'm at with that. Is I just want to have my my own kind of ideas and, and then go from there and then and then fail without much advice as far as conventional strategies i know it sounds funny but just kind of want to be able to say i think this stock is going to do this and this is why and i'm going to bet that it's going to do that and this is how much i'm willing to bet and here we go let's see what the fuck happens let's go because i i've <laughs> past times i've been pretty accurate but you're right you get your ass kicked you think it's going down it's going up going down going up going up going down It's about to start raining, it feels like. Did I leave the water on is the big question, and he did. He left it on. Let's go ahead and turn these off. Love this new fan, country line, county line. Okay, it's nice and cool in here. Temperatures drop 10 degrees at least. Thanks, guys. These are some cuttings I tried to take of the um, Eugenia matosii. I've been able to root them before. We'll see how it works out. I think this fan could be set to a low speed because the foot the sun's going away. Clouds are coming out. And then we got to turn off some water over here. I want to be the one to say the sun. Girls just want to have fun. Oh, shit. I hope, the, I hope the stream doesn't die off because I got a really good picture to show you. Oh, I almost fell. Look at this over here, guys. I've got an anomaly grafted tree. That's going crazy. This one's doing really well. Oh, wow. A lot of fruit going to come, it looks like. This one's going to go nuts. And then I got this one over here. Look at this right here. Fuck. This one's going crazy. I got to get a picture of that. It's going nuts, dude. It's got a bunch of shit on it. Oh, suckers, you gotta knock these off. Uh. 
that one's doing its thing. Take it all the way up to the branch tips. Wow, look at all that action. It smells so good. Wow, I wanted to get pictures of that for sure. Fucking A. <laughs> Time to get some rain. I know that chicken over there, she knows me. Hey girl! We'll sit down on this bridge and see if she comes to visit. Come here, buddy. <laughs> she won't come over. This one I don't like when they're out here alone. Oh, uh -huh. this tree had a lot of di uh, leaf drop. Got real dry, and you can really see the graft union on it now. Look at that. Kind of a fun fruit. Good tasting. Sour, but potent flavor. Oh, it looks like we're getting a crop going on these Patanga tubas out here in the field. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this black sapote. I think it's fruiting finally. This is a, probably a 12 year old tree. I think I got it in 2009 or 10, maybe 12. It was 2009 or 10, I can't remember. I think it's 10 or 12 years old. And it finally starting to flower. I mean fruit, it flowered before but made male flowers only. And now this time it's got female flowers. So I think it's a fruiting black sapote. I'm gonna be excited to taste it. It was supposed to be called like a giant flying saucer or something like that yeah i think these are male flowers and female flowers or i don't know, fucking know hopefully it fruits i guess i haven't seen any fruit set yet maybe i gotta look closer and then here's another one i don't think it's flowering but it's another seedling no flowers on this one yet but yeah it'd be nice if this actually fruited I, nothing, I, I like a good black sapote. A bad one is bad. They don't taste good at all. But a good one is good. I was just actually going to make a fruit, though. We'll find out. It's going to take a while for them to start filling out if they are. I got to go around and start pulling these um, china berry seeds. 
coming up everywhere. Seedlings, these have got to be pulled. Lemon drop planted in the shade, doing really well. Ton of flowers. Look at all the flowers this is getting in like full shade. That's a good tree, man. You know, a tree that you can grow in full shade is a tree you can protect from the cold. And it just, it just, not a lot of trees will fruit nicely in the shade. And I, I like this one because it's just, you know, it's right underneath an oak tree. It doesn't get but 50% sunlight. And it's just been a joy to grow. Nice fruit. I wish these Garcinia xanthochymus would fruit. They're such a pretty tree. Makes a big yellow sour fruit, but I like sour. And it's like a lemon or, or a citrus flavor, you know? I could I could use them right now. I'd eat that. I'd eat that right up. No flowers yet. No flowers yet. I do have a passion fruit that had fruit on it. I see them hanging up there, but they're not ripe yet. And stuff keeps pecking them off before they get ripe. I've seen them on the ground green. But I haven't seen uh, a ripe one yet. Oh, look. Here was a ripe one. Son of a bitch. Or something. I want a good one. I want a good one, man. I feel like there's one right here in front of me and I just don't see it. It's on the ground. Where a rat got it. Damn it. I like passion fruit a lot. I like them a lot. I, I, I wish I would grow more passion fruit. That's not good. Okay, my rare tree is covered up. Uh, it's a bronchamel. If anybody knows a uh, bromeliad nursery that's looking to buy some stock, I got some gorgeous stock out here for sale wholesale. You could really make a killing. All right, guys. Now this is the question. What am I going to do with these dragon fruits over here? Let's take a look. I got these from my brother's house last night. And I know it's a variety from Pine Island that makes a pink fruit, you know, red colored pink. I forget the name of it, but anyhow, I got all this dragon fruit here. I gotta, I gotta find a place out here to put it where it'll grow up and won't get in my way because I hate thorns. I literally hate thorns. And that oak tree is good over there for some, but this is a whole pile of thorns I don't want to touch or get near. So maybe we'll take it out right now and just set it down. It's like it need, I need to put it in a pot, probably. Could put this shit in 25 gallon pots and try to sell it. I'm just not in the mood to deal with it like that. But I'm I'm sure this is a really good variety. Look at the roots on it. Nice. That's a nice plant right there. He had some work done on his fence and they just tore all this shit out. A lot of root on that guy there. Ah, thorn. That's why I hate it. It's the thorns. I 
This is where you're gonna end up living. Do you know how much these cuttings sell for anyone? It looks like a ten dollar cutting. Am I not am I not right? That's like a ten dollar cutting if I remember. I remember ten, spending ten dollars a cutting. The thing is, is you got to know what variety you have if you're going to sell it. And I don't know, I can't remember. All I know is it's not a white one. I, I never would have bought a white one. It's a selected variety and it's pink. It's not red because the red ones died. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. My mulberry is fruiting still in the back of my truck. Needs to soil back on this guy. If you cut it back, it'll fruit again. I probably need to prune it. Well, I thought it was gonna rain, but it's not. Yeah, this is good relaxation. The trick is getting them to come up and hang out with you. Here comes my one chicken, Snuggly. That's not, she looks like Snuggly, but that's Barbara. Barbara. I got hooked on these things. Rest in peace, Kobe. Okay? Mamba mentality when I'm out here. Go down smooth. You don't like it because of coconut. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at this and see if it's ready. Can of still getting, oh yeah, that putting it in the bag definitely did a number on it. Turned it dark. I'm like afraid I gotta just go ahead and eat it today and test it right now. It smells sufficiently sweet. Putting it in that bag definitely turned it ripe. But now let's go ahead and get a look at this. Okay. Nice. Luke's Garcinia. Hard one to, uh, for, it was nasty because I picked it too late. Get the fuck away. Fruit flies and shit. It was good. 
It was really sweet. Super sweet. The way I the way I eat these is um with ice cream. You blend it with ice cream. I'm not gonna eat it raw. It's good. Super sweet. Too sweet, man. It's too sweet. Mmm. That's good. That's like a pudding. But it's too much for me as far as the sweetness goes. And I like sweet, but Mm. That with some ice cream is gonna be the way to do it. Can of style. Yeah, you blend it with ice cream and it makes like a milkshake. But I put it in the fridge and I'll do that later. But that's the way to eat it is a ice is a milkshake. I'll do that later. And then I got one seed. Fairchild number two can of style. Yeah, that was really good. Super sweet. Like I said, I, I'm more of a sour, a sour food kind of guy. And um, it's just a little too sweet for me. You let that seed dry out for a couple weeks at least. All right. Thanks for watching again, guys. Everyone have a good one. The fuck? That's on me. And remember, you get out there on the roadside and you see them, you save them. I want everyone to take it oath right now. Listen, you got the kids out there, repeat after me. I know it doesn't sound cool. Mom and dad are watching. Just tell them to look the other way. I, say your name. Do solemnly swear to protect all species of squirrels. <gasps> all right, I'm just kidding around.